overseas, the Irwins have become Aussie icons in the same league as Tim Tams, Reggie Might, and their famous crikey catch cry. But just when you thought you knew everything there was to know about the wildlife warriors, Terry, Bindi and Robert have launched a new project showing off a much more personal side to the family. Is there anything in this world that would want to make me give away what I'm doing now? Yes, there is. When my children can take the football that I call wildlife conservation and run it up. For Bindi and Robert Irwin, wildlife conservation isn't just a passion, it's in their blood. Because we're so close with all of our animals, it's always challenging and it's always sad, but you gotta stay strong. <laughs> Look, I'm so crying now. <laughs> Their new show, Crikey, It's the Irwins, airs on Animal Planet and gives audiences a unique look at their lives inside the country's largest family-owned zoo. I've known some of the keepers here my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that for us, it does feel like our staff are extended family. And that's pretty extraordinary. But not exactly glamorous. Oh, and I can smell a little bit of that, so I'm going to move down here. <laughs> The Irwins wouldn't have it any other way. And Bindi, Terry and Robert Irwin join us now from Australia Zoo with a few of their friends. Uh, Terry, good morning to you. Terry, this show gives audiences a fly on the wall look at your lives. Why did you decide to do this? Well, it's something that we are passionate about and have been for years. Steve and I started filming The Crocodile Hunter back in 1992. And just a few years after we started filming, we ended up with this really tiny network in America called Animal Planet with 250,000 subscribers. And within 10 years of filming Crocodile Hunter with them, they were up to 90 million subscribers and have gone from strength to strength. And now that it's been 12 years since we lost Steve, it's really time to continue his message, to get the word out that now, more than any time on planet Earth, we need to be protecting our valuable wild places and our beautiful wildlife. And Bindi, you really are continuing Steve's legacy. And we just saw that little bit in the setup story there, where Steve was talking about his kids and passing on the football that is wildlife conservation. Do you think, it was a great analogy from him. It was, it was lovely to see that, to hear that. Do you think he would be blown away by what you guys have achieved? Oh, well, firstly, thank you so much. And I really hope that he would be proud of everything we've achieved, both here at Australia Zoo and with our global conservation work. Our non-profit organisation, Wildlife Warriors, continues to go from strength to strength. And we're so lucky that as a little family, we get to follow on in his footsteps and do what we love, but also to share our passion of wildlife conservation with so many people around the world. It's something very, very special. So I hope he'd be proud I think he'd probably be saying crikey this is really exciting and um, yeah I think that with everything we do here at Australia Zoo dad's definitely still a part of our lives he his spirit lives on in all of our work so I think that's that's a wonderful thing and we're very blessed to get to continue on his work and we'll always be a family no matter what I don't know how I got so lucky I have the most beautiful mum she's like Wonder Woman the most amazing brother and we're just a team Dad, Dad originally coined the phrase wildlife warriors and that's what we are and we're pretty lucky. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure he's looking down on you guys. Robert, you turned 15 over the weekend. How did you celebrate? Yeah, so I turned 15 um, actually just yesterday or no, the day before. Yeah. It was on Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. But yeah, I'm, I'm 15 now. You're, you're too young to be forgetting what yeah, day it is, Robert. Exactly. Leave that to us. He's, he's getting old. I am, he's yeah. 15 now. I'm, yeah, I'm in my elderly age now, so I'm a bit more forgetful. <laughs> it, was, it was a great day. It was really awesome. We had a wonderful celebration. So many people came in on the day. And yeah, we just celebrated with lots of wildlife and lots of cake. So yeah, it was great. Sounds good. <laughs> Terry, in the show, we see Robert feeding a huge croc. Um, I'm worried for him. In, in, the, in the setup story, we just ran, <laughs> there's him as a newborn. Can you believe that your baby is doing this stuff? It, it is amazing. And while it's been a long time in coming, it seems like it's just happened overnight. 
And I think that's what's so special is that here in Australia, we really feel like Australians are family. And you've all grown up with our family and now getting to see Robert going from this little toddler to feeding crocodiles is incredibly special. And being able to invite you behind the scenes and see what goes on in our lives at Australia Zoo, at our wildlife hospital, and at our projects all over the world, it's, it is like inviting our family along. And yeah. we're so glad that you can experience these things. And Definitely, for yeah. the most part, I'm very confident and proud in Robert and occasionally a little tiny bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fun. I absolutely, I, I love the crocodiles for sure. They're my favorite. So getting to work with them is just such a privilege. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah well, Terry, I don't think you'd be a normal mum if you didn't think that. Um, but look, you are such a credit. We are so proud of you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and to do what you guys do uh, all these years after, after Steve passing is, is just amazing. So th thank you very much. Thank you Thanks, guys. guys. Thank you. We hope you enjoy the show. Crikey! It's, it's the, the airway. Airway. On Animal Planet. <laughs> this Saturday. Yep. Thank you guys. That's well done. And that's what it's called. Crikey, it's the Irwins airs on Saturdays on Animal Planet. Thank you.